All right, vamos a empezar. So let's start um, sitting again. And uh, let's maybe start with our legs in Baddha Konasana right here. So that means your heels are touching, heels touching, balls of the feet touching. And you can even, let's go ahead, take a second, roll the shoulders just a few times. Feel the bones of the shoulders moving down. Good, and feeling your scapula both narrow towards the inside and then broaden towards the outside. So you feel the latissimus muscles there firing up. Holding there for a moment, take your ears side to side. So you're stretching towards one shoulder and then the other. And then we're going to let your chin move up. As the chin comes up, feel the front of your throat. So across here, it's a big stretch, estiramiento. And then the top of your head floating down. Let's take that just a couple times, saying hello to the neck. I don't know how you all slept. Let's just let that have a little release here for a moment. And then let's go ahead. I'm going to slide my legs just a little bit further away from me, bring my hands to my collarbones, and start a little lateral movement of the ribs, right? So just let that there be a shift there that you're initiating, creating from the belly, letting the hips be nice and heavy. Good. You can feel the back of your head, spine relaxed. Good. And then let's pause right here in your center for just a moment. Open the chest. As you do, you really want to feel the expansion of your shoulder blades, taking the weight of your head. And then you're going to exhale and round down. Maybe your elbows come all the way to your knees. I don't know. Maybe they don't do that. But you're going to inhale, create a little back bend, letting your head rest in your hands. And then let's exhale and round that over. Good. And then we're going to inhale, take it all the way back up. All right, let's do that one more time. And then exhale a little round good so now we're gonna open your arms as you reach to one side inhale close overhead so i can still initiating movement through your rib cage good and you can be a little bit loosey-goosey with your arms if you stretch your top arm up you'll really feel a big stretch through the armpits <sighs> Good. And let's kind of imagine you're pushing the air there so that movement of the arm is in slow motion. Good. All right. And then we're going to pause. Let's bring all of your hands out. And I want you to soften the elbows enough that you feel your wrists are above the elbows. And then you're going to exhale, curl your fingertips underneath you and feel the top of the wrist stretch. So try that just a few times, letting the Fingertips come up and then curl all the way under. Good, just this little bit of stuff and feeling some warmth happening. Good, let's try that one more time. And then we're gonna exhale and take opposite hand to knee. Reach the back hand even further behind you. Deep twist. Good, use the abdominal muscles, bring yourself in the opposite direction. Good. And then inhale, returning to facing forward. Let's slide, this is my right leg, maybe do your left leg out, and then you can bring the left foot all the way up to the thigh. Arms can come up, and you're gonna exhale, reach yourself out over the leg, letting the hamstring stretch, and then exhale, sit it tall. So we'll inhale, reach out over the leg, exhale, open the arms, you're creating big, Circles with the arms. The arms are gliding forward with you. Good. Let's do that one more time. And then from here, let's take opposite elbow towards your knee and then exhale, open away. So big stretch through the armpit. Opposite elbow towards the knee. Let that bring your whole rib cage over with you. And right back up. Let's do that again. Just one more time. Excellent. And then from here, try reaching opposite elbow towards the bent leg and then sweeping back behind you Good. all the way around. <sighs> Trying to really anchor your hips here as you move. Last time, 
good. Hold the two arms out. Your bottom leg, your extended leg, can you lift it off of the floor and allow it to pulse? 10, 9, 8, 7. Do this with a soft knee if you need to. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend the knee. Extend the opposite leg. So I like you to get into these poses as best you can without using your hands. Good, and we'll exhale, float all the way over the leg. Come right back up. So you're pushing foot and thigh, and then we're gonna exhale, move forward. Inhale, inspiramos. We exhale, expiramos. We move all the way. Let's do that one more time. And then you're gonna take opposite elbow to the extended knee and then reach back behind you. So as you twist, hold the foot and thigh tight, feel the obliques engage in that twisting. Exhale, reaching all the way out. Good, back through your center. Exhale, reaching out, back through the center. Good, let's switch. So now this elbow is gonna come reach towards my knee. I'm gonna stretch the other side of my back and again, work more in my inner obliques versus outer as I create this little twist here. Good, kind of waking up movement every which way. Good, let's try that one more time. And then exhale, holding the arms up. The leg can lift, right? And you can create a little pulse for 10, nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, let's bend the knee, bend both knees. And let the arms once again stretch forward. You'll open the hips as you let the torso move forward. And then I want you to let the fingertips tap right outside the um, toes and then reach them back behind you. So it's like you're drawing little rainbows here with the arms. Good. All right. Now can we be a little bit wild? Can one arm move forward and one arm move back? Good, can we keep our neck relaxed, released as we make this movement? Three, and two, and one. Very nice, exhale, come all the way back up, hands back behind the head, and once again, just rock your rib cage, side to side. Good, again, the armpit gets a big stretch as you lift up. Bring your palms together and then sweep your torso all the way around. So you're drawing a big circle. Good. One more time. Good. And then let's go the other way, taking that three times again, feeling your belly is so connected to this movement. Good. Let's exhale, release your hands. This is my right toes. I'm gonna to tap out into my shin and then exhale, extend the leg, right? So this is extension from the knee. My knees are more or less parallel and then the shin bone is reaching out and in, out and in, out and in. Good, pause. Let's try that with the opposite leg. Out and in, out and in, out and in. Your weight can be in your hands, just a little or almost no weight in your hands. You could put your hands on your low back, feel yourself sit tall. Excellent, so now from here, let's open both legs, stretch, reach them out. So I'm gonna send energy through my heels, let my hands come behind my back for just a moment, and then exhale, come forward, just any amount that feels healthy and pleasant to your piernas, to your legs. Good, 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 good. So now, even with your hands still behind you, create a little twist, right and left, all the way here. Good, and then we're gonna exhale, feel ourselves fold over that leg as you towards it, oh goodness. So a lovely little stretch here through my back and hips. Try to create extension through your head. Good, we'll try that the other way. So it doesn't matter how far you come, just think about reaching your sternum towards your shin till you feel those muscles, quadratus lumborum, lower spinal extensors, multifidus, 
muscles in the spine. Back to getting a real stretch. Oh, I'm very happy this is happening. Feels good to me. Very nice. And then we'll bring that all the way back up. Oh, I'm so tempted to just do this all day. So let's close the legs and then bring your hands to a short edge of your mat. This is my right side facing the computer. And I want you to begin here with a little stretch of the hips to one side, stretch of the hips to the other. Again, this will help us continue to stretch our backs as we wake up, warm up. Good. Oh. <coughs> you can do this slowly, you can pause wherever it is you want to, need to. Good. And then let's go ahead and make this just a little bit of a circle. As you start to make it a circle, feel that the abdominal wall kicks in. Oh, you know what? Actually, try making that circle with one hand on your back. So this can be a little smaller. Good. Circle the other way. Oh, that is a nice little interesting stretch through my shoulder. Good. Let's switch sides. So the right hand, our left hand comes onto the back. And then once again, you can make little circles here. Good. And circling in the opposite direction. Excellent. So now let's put two hands down, turn the tops of your feet over, move the thighs back, and exhale, undulate and lift. So we're going to try that a few times, letting the thighs move all the way back, creating an undulation, and then a lift. Thighs back, undulate, and lift. Good. One more time. Thighs back, undulate, and lift. Good. So now let's hold the arms out, the thighs back, and lift the knees down and up. So the knees can um, tap into the floor, tap the blanket, and then you're going to reach your heels as best you can away from the toes as you're lifting up here. Good. And then let's pause here for just a moment in your down dog. I want you to alternate each heel. So let one heel stretch away from the toe so you get deep into your calf. Uh -huh. And then you're going to stretch the opposite heel down. So really think about the relationship between heel to toe, between tailbone and heel. And that's how we'll get this deep. Uh, stretch here. All right. And then let's pause for just a moment and reach both heels back, reach tailbones all the way up. Can you reach one arm back behind you here, holding for just a moment? Exhale, sweeping the arm down. Can you reach the opposite hand behind you? Feel that for just a moment. Deep stretch through your armpit, softness in the elbow. Excellent. That hand comes down. Can you lift one leg and one foot just for a breath or two? And then a little trick with balance, you all. If you try that and your hand is not going to come up or you're going to wobble and fall over, try maybe lifting the foot and then maybe the palm of the hand. So we're trying this on the opposite side. And then maybe you can get everything but the index finger and then perhaps then the index finger can come off of the floor. And just waking up a sense of balance. Let's walk our hands back now towards our hips. And you can move your blanket to the side. And let's exhale, take a big round forward. Bring your hands behind your head. Deeply stretch the middle of your back. Good. And then we're going to exhale, fold through the knees and bring ourselves up. So let's reach the arms back, reach the thighs out. Exhale, come to standing. Arms reaching out, thighs reaching back. Let's take that two or three more times. Good, tailbone each time moves back and then slightly down. Good. So it's very different than tucking your pelvis under, right, which is here. That we wanna avoid, but you wanna find that really nice 
neutral sensation through your pelvis where all the muscles are working to hold you up here. So, Buena Pausa, pause down here, lightly move the thighs back. Good, as you hold the arms out, scooping the belly, feeling your center strong. Good, now let's move one arm forward, opposite arm back. Take your gaze, la vista, atrás, the gaze move toward your back hand. Then again, just a couple more times here, two, and one, very nice, two arms out. Now the thighs move back again, five, four, long spine, long spine. So feel that relationship between head and tail. Energy is out, two, and one. You can imagine, right? You've got antlers here and a tail right here. You gotta hold them both up. Try that here, opposite side. Oh, best exercise ever. Three, two, and one. Good. Exhale. Stand up. And just for a second, let's actually, your outside leg, step it. Step it in. Good. So now you're just facing the computer screen. Open up, bear hugging the universe. Exhale, take a hand, opposite hand to foot. Inhale, big stretch all the way up. Up the hand to foot, a big sweep all the way up. And again, this twist happens through the belly. Good, let's take this another round or two. Good, so feel how firm your legs are and how they're the anchor for this movement. Let's pause on one side. While you're here with your hands, I've got my hands on my right foot, you can bend and straighten your two knees. Again, letting the thigh bones move back each time. Really light weight in your hands, but still firing up, warming up your legs. Good. And then from here, in a little grapevine shape, why don't you walk your hands all the way around. Go slow. Feel your hips, feel your bones. Good. And then same thing, bend and straighten your uh, left knee or whichever knee you're on now. Good. Okay, so now let's exhale. Take just a moment. You can grapevine your hands. So what I'm finding is as my arms cross, I get a nice stretch in my back. So here, find where you may want to pause to hang out for just a moment. Get a little bit deeper. Oh, heaven. Yeah, right in here, right at the hip crease. Okay, exhale, bring yourself up. Now this back foot, or the foot that's, um, it's my right, I'm gonna step it in. Right hand's facing the computer screen. So we're gonna move through some things that might feel like vinyasas. Um, let's just see what happens. So go ahead, arms float up, tailbone floats down. And then we'll exhale and lift your heels. So try that with me a few times. Heels coming down, arms floating up. Brazos arriba y ahora brazos abajo, talones arriba. Good. Dos, tres más. Do two or three more. And then let's try this. Thighs out, arms up. And then the hands can land at the front of the hip. Thighs and arms. Thighs, brazos y muslos. Brazos y muslos. Brazos, now hold. Arms up, belly in and up. Exhale, round. So a little cat cow, arriba y abajo. Arriba y abajo. Last time, arriba, hold this. Let the fingertips come out. You can again circle the arms here a couple times. Circling the other way. And then let's exhale, place your hands here on the floor. Step your right leg, step your left leg back. Arrive in a little plank pose. Rock your heels back. Good, so take your time getting here. Two, and let's pause. Now you can lower the knees, pull your elbows into your sides. Just a few times, waking up shoulder stream. Good, let's try this one more time. And then I want you to hold one arm lifted just an inch or two above the floor, feeling strength in the opposite side. 
Try that now. Opposite arm lifts just like we did earlier in a Mukha Svavasana. All right, and then let's exhale. Let your sternum come up. Let the sternum move back. Sternum comes up, hips lower down, and then right back. Good. This time, as your hips lower, lift your knees. Find down dog. A little bit stretch. You can see here to, you know, as your down dog continues to deepen, there's a world where your head and your heels touch the floor at the same time. It doesn't need to happen today, obviously. Soften the elbows, take a few bends here, waking up your arms, and then we're gonna step your feet in, left and right, and inhale, come all the way up. So let's flow through something along those lines. Again, inhale, thighs back, arms coming forward and then down. This time you can step your feet once again, or hop. Good, now if it feels okay, you can let your chest lower to the floor. Inhale, come up. Exhale, reach the weight of the body back. Raise your right leg, bend the knee. Exhale, lift this hip just a little bit. You can take a few tiny circles. The hip in the hip socket, femur in the hip socket. Good, and then you're gonna exhale, let that heel fold back just to hear more big stretch to the hip. Place the foot between the hands. Inhale, come up so your front knee bends, back knee straightens, and you're gonna exhale, tap elbow and up. Can we try that two or three times? Elbow taps and up, elbow taps and up, elbow taps and up. Let's make this our last time here. Good. You can hold for a moment. Big stretch. Really trying to anchor that back heel. Roll the bottom rib cage mm -hmm. towards the thigh. And then let's exhale. Bring a hand to the ankle. Reach your thigh bone back. Right. So this whole femur bone wants to pull back, back, back. Top shoulder wants to keep rising. Good. And then from here, oh boy, we haven't done this in a long time. Nikina, are you ready? You're gonna bend this front knee. Exhale, see about lifting your back leg. Good, you can walk your left hand out just a little and then raise your right arm. Paribhita Ardha Chandrasana. Take your gaze to that top arm. And after a breath or two, rock it back. Step your front foot back. Take a little vinyasa, inhale up, exhale all the way. Okay, inhale, take a breath. And then from here, you're gonna exhale, hop your feet back towards your hands, come up into standing. Good, so then just to get myself on the right side of the mat so you can see my legs as we do the other side, I'm gonna take a big step back with the right leg and then step my left to my right. Now that is a vigorous little step. Oh, it looks good, y'all. That's fun. All right, inhale, thighs move back, and then right back up. So play with this movement here. Thighs back, and then up. Thighs back, and then up. Thighs back, now hold. Um, try another little cat-cow. Just grounding, feeling centered in this movement too. And once in a while, you should just be standing on the opposite side of the mat. From here, you're gonna slowly allow your fingertips to come to the floor. If it feels comfortable, step or hop your feet back. You'll lower the knees or not. Come forward, opening your chest, big breath. Exhale back. Adha Mukha Svabhasana, the left leg lifts. Good, and so while this leg is lifted, Really focus on bringing the opposite heel down and a big stretch into the thigh and calf. So now this knee can bend and you can create little circles. That will help you kind of wake up the glute. 
little circles the other way. We're about to stand on this leg for a bit, so might as well wake the glute up. And then let the heel bend back towards the sitting bone. Good, and then let's use an exhale. Place the foot between the two hands, plant the back heel, and exhale, come all the way up. So again, this, all of these little movements here will warm us up for this big pose. So take elbow to knee, reach back. We did this in the beginning of class, elbow to knee, reach back. We did it seated. So really feel the obliques connected to the lowering, right? They're lifting up as your torso lowers down. Good. Let's do this the last time and hold here for a moment. Good. And now this hand can move to the ankle and you can work on straightening the knee. Hand to the hip, big stretch in the hamstring. You're also thinking about that back foot lifting the inner arch. Good. Now if you like taking the arm up, Paribhita Tree Konasana, as much length as you can get in your back legs. Good. And then from here you'll exhale, bring both hands down and get some weight here in your front foot now. Lift the back leg, walk the outside hand forward, right? So before you lift up, you're just here. It's like spinal balance. And then the top arm can lift. Parivrita, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Good. You could be fancy, you could touch hand to foot. You don't have to do any of these things, obviously. Exhale, release the hands, release the leg. Take a little forward bend here. And then slowly, slowly, bring yourself back up to standing. With your leg closest to the computer screen, step wide, reaching out. Jazz hands, man with the jazz. No, just kidding. Shake it out for just a moment. Okay, how about Uttita Asta, Parangustasana. So this pose you could do seated, you could do it standing. You can try it here with me. So I brought my weight into my right leg. Maybe you're doing your left. And then you want to feel that your two sitting bones are still even to one another. Get a little micro bend in the left arm or the arm that is holding the foot and then extend the knee as best you can here. Take five breaths. Good, pull up through the thigh bone on the supporting leg. Arriba por el muslo. Good, exhale, bend the knee. Allow the arm to come down. Rock it, floss it, boss it, lo que tu quieras. All right, so now we're gonna try that same thing opposite side. This, ugh, wish I had done it like this on the opposite side, but there is a world, right? Where you can try hand to foot. Let's just do it on the other side for fun five times. Whoosh. Good, hand to ankle, two and one. Good, let's try that again. Hand to ankle, five and. So your body is kind of waking up to this movement, two, and excellent. So now I'll see about the hand and foot coming together. Maybe your sense of balance is a little more awake on this side. When you feel ready, extend your talon, extend the heel out, drop in the sitting bones together, five breaths. In and out the nose, elongating the exhale. Good, and now that knee can bend can set the foot down, shake it out, shake it out. So we're gonna try for a moment after we're done dancing and only after you've done a little turnaround, I wanna see everybody dando balditas. Okay, oh, you gotta go the other way. Okay, so now let's work on getting into Utita B. I'm gonna take weight on my right side Open and close. So when you do this, I want you to open and close the femur. Keep your hip, hands on your hips like you're line dancing at Broken Spoke. And uh, Terry Monaghan's there and she's like, 
or Terry White, and she's uh, being real bossy. Oh, this probably can't go on the internet now, this class. <laughs> We're gonna have to edit that part out. <laughs> All right, hold now for a moment. Take this bottom hand down, and then the hand reaches up towards the heel. Good, so maybe you can take the hand all the way to the foot and pull this femur bone in and then exhale, stretch and extend. Hold the leg out, opposite arm can reach too. Breathe, five breaths. Wow, look at all those amazing stretches here, y'all. Three and two and one. Exhale, release. Baila, baila, baila. Cada dirección. All right, good. So let's try those little actions on the other side. So feel your weight grounded, and then you're gonna open and close the foot you're about to lift. So move changing sides, two and one, good. So now hand is gonna reach, or heel is gonna reach up towards your hand. All right, so try this, you know, a good number of times here. So waking up the inner thigh, waking up the glutes. Two, and we'll call this one, good. Exhale, seep up the hand and foot, making contact. Big breath, and then as you feel ready, extend the leg to the side. Perhaps also extending the arm. Good, and then perhaps now closing and lowering, and then rocking your hips, nice and slow, steady, easy, releasing each direction. Good, so now I'm gonna turn to the right. This is my left side facing out. I'm gonna put weight in my right foot, and then from here, sweep, take my arms up, take my leg up. Try this just a few times, letting the arm and leg lift, Together, a little arabesque. Two and one. Now, can you place the hands here on your lumbar and just lightly create a little back bend? Good. All right, pitch the weight a little more forward in the right leg and then let's exhale, bend the left knee, bend and straighten. Three, two, one, excellent. Now see if the hand and foot can come together. Can you extend that right arm out? Can you lift the left leg up and breathe? Good, exhale, bring the limbs back in, release. And from here, step the foot closest to the computer screen back. And now voila, we turned over that side and the opposite side is now facing in. So let's try that a few times. Arm and leg. So let the left leg get really alert and ready to hold weight here. Good. And then we're gonna pause with the arms out for just a moment, then bring your hands onto the low back. Feel this head and tail relationship. Again, you could even put a hand on your head, a hand on your tailbone, let this back heel settle, and then create a little back bend. Oh. Weight of the head, applying some pressure here to the armpit. Good, and then hands on your low back for a moment. Can you bend and straighten the right knee? Can you hold the bend in the knee, hand to the foot, left arm out, exhale, come all the way up, breathing, breathing, breathing. Exhale, release that leg. And now this time, two hands to your low back, fold over your front leg, taking a big breath. Now take your two hands out beyond your front foot, and then step your left foot back, 
Good, so now you're just in a down dog. Let's take a vinyasa here. So your elbows pull into your sides. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, allow the hips to lift. Let's create a slight pivot of your hips. So I'm gonna reach my hips away from the computer screen and bring myself up into a side plank. Let's breathe here a couple of times. Keep energy moving out the top of your head. Good. Let's just try that the other way. But first, two hands down. Now just lift your hips still in that slight pivot. So I get a good back stretch when that happens. Now can you try this? The bottom leg, can you reach it forward and then create another little side plank here? Good, and then from this position, can you lower the two knees? Can you lift the two legs? Voila! I'm just having fun. Can you lift this top leg down and up a few times? Good, the bottom uh, shin, can it lift a few times? Hello. Hello, abdominals. Excellent. Bring your knees all the way together, and then we're just going to switch sides. So now my opposite hand comes down, press, lift up into a little down dog. Let's go ahead and give this a vinyasa. So you'll exhale, bring your chest down all the way, lifting, reaching up. And then let's try just pivoting your hips once again, away from the computer screen, creating a side plank. Good, so you wanna to try to bring your ribs down and your head up in a side plank, so you're not targeting your neck muscles so much. Good. And then let's bring that hand down, push, pivot your hips up, all the way, big stretch, lift, lift, lift. And then take the bottom leg out, and you'll stretch it forward, and then allow that top arm to come up, 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 up. Good. All right, and then from here, once again, hips can lower, cadera can lower, and then the top leg, la pierna encima, up, down, and up. Three, two, one, set it down. Bottom shin, three, and two, and one. Excellent. So now let's pivot our weight back. The, I'm facing the short edge of my mat. My knees are bent. And um, I'm going to put this blanket just kind of at the base of my spine here. And the arms can come up. Everybody do a little neck check. Make sure your chin feels nice and released. And then we're gonna exhale, start rolling all the way down to the floor. So let the arms circle as you come down and then float the head, la cabeza, your shoulders, los hombros, your pecho, the chest, your cotillas, the ribs. And we'll come all the way up. Get a little stretch here, moving forward. Exhale, scoop into the abdomen. And then once again, you're gonna roll slowly, slowly with the knees bent. Coming all the way down. Little circle with the arms. Circling the other way. And then lifting the head, lifting your chest. Coming all the way up. Let's slide the hands underneath your right shin. Inhale, extend. Pull your lumbar spine towards your muscle, towards your thigh. Send your heel all the way out towards the ceiling. Good, breathe here. Let's let the leg open slightly. As the leg opens, sit taller. Switch sides, take the heel in the opposite hand. Let the leg cross the midline of the body. La pierna, busca. And then from here, back to the center. Let's slide down this leg all the way to the floor. Open your arms in a T-shape, and then this time let the leg circle in the hip socket. Good, so all the way around, and then allow it to circle the other way. Beautiful, and then make your circle uh, figure eight. So with the heel of the foot, can you draw a little figure eight? 
and just feel how deeply that connects to the belly. Now can you draw your figure eight in the opposite direction? Good. Who needs a crossword puzzle when you have a hip socket? All right, exhale, bring your hands here behind your thigh and let's we'll see about uh, moving up the leg. Good, now this time you'll float the heel to the opposite thigh, take your hands under your shoulders and move inward. You should feel a real stretch of your pure fitness. Good, as your weight moves from here, moves from the back to mas adelante. Good, so now let's sit back just a hair. The right leg comes down. We're gonna take our hands underneath your left calf and the leg stretches up. So you use the quadricep muscle right here to extend the knee. The act of extending the knee stretches the hamstring, right? So remember when you're stretching, you don't want the leg to lock. You wanna feel those muscles firm. Good, and then as they do their work, then you don't have to sit back so much to hold the weight of the leg. Does that make sense? Then, puedes sentar más arriba, then you can sit up. So, vamos a abrir, let's open all the way. Good. And then you're gonna let the leg cross the midline of the body, switching your hands. Oh, big IT band stretch. And to the back, good. Now we'll move back to the center and you're gonna slowly, 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 bajando, bajando. Let's let the leg circle three times. Let's let it circle three times in the opposite direction. Good, and then you're gonna draw some figure eight with your leg. Good, now you're gonna try to take those figure eights the other way. Boy, if this is hard for you, let me tell you, I'm having a time of it here. All right, so now let's inhale, take your hands back behind the thigh, and you'll exhale, pull your abdomen in, bringing yourself all the way up the leg, ankle to thigh, hands debajo de los hombros, las manos, your hands under your shoulders here, move your sternum towards your shin, and we'll stretch. Good. And then exhale, sitting back slightly, unfolding your two legs. Bring your hands here behind your thighs for just a moment. Lift your shin bones so they're parallel with the sky. Opposite hand. Good. and just reach opposite hand to foot for a moment. Good, hands back behind the thigh, opposite hand to foot, a big stretch in between your shoulder blades. Good, exhale, release. You can now slide just slowly down to the floor. Good, and then let's um, take your knees and allow them to circle just like they're one big bone, right? The femurs are glued together. Good, and then you'll circle the other way. Oh, and can you draw figure eight? Oh, now there's some work for the abdomen and then you can draw those figure eights in the opposite direction. Good. So now arms can float down towards your sides. And we'll exhale, lift your pelvis up, and maybe let your knees come down towards your forehead. Good. So then if you like, you can let the thigh bone stretch reach out. This is Halasana, plow pose. I'm bringing my palms together, like I would maybe in um, um, a version of Satyabandha Sarvangasana. To really feel your neck is totally released here. And then you can take your hands to your hips for a moment. Let the knee joints come all the way up. Allow the legs to lengthen. Perhaps let your right leg travel back. Maybe allowing the knee to bend a little. And 
and then we'll exhale, change that configuration here, letting the left knee travel back. Good, and then from there, two knees traveling in, the legs lifting, can you use your core muscles to pull your pelvis off of your hands and extend the two legs up. From here, I'm gonna use my belly muscles to slowly, slowly, slowly come all the way back down to the floor. Good, press your elbows in with the top of your head. Exhale, move your, your um, throat all the way up. So the idea is that this part of you is now deeply stretching. Matsasana, fish pose. You can stay in this version of fish or you could extend the legs. Exhale and release. And then from here, once again, I'm gonna bring my hands behind my head and pull my neck up. So I'm not kind of stretching it the other way. Take it side to side. Good, and then allowing your head to come down, allowing your arms to release. Let's walk your feet close to your isquiones. Pies en la dirección de los isquiones. And then you're gonna push the feet down and let the hips rise up. Maybe your hands and ankles connect here. Good, squeeze the knees slightly in. Good, you can exhale, release. Repeat that pose, or we might do a variation here of Urdhva Dhanurasana that I like a lot. So your arms can come up alongside the ears. And then exhale, take a moment, just bring the palms right outside your shoulders. So stretch your palms up and then pull them right back in, almost like you had a chin bar. And then reach the arms and then pull down, or like you were doing an imaginary pull up here. Those are my favorite kind of pull ups. All right. And then you can hold for just a moment, bring your fingertips underneath your shoulders and use this. Don't worry about lifting anything yet. Just think about this as a um, um, stretch for your wrist, stretch for the muscles in your hands. So let the fingers really move back towards the body and reach the wrist bone away from your head. So now squeeze your knees, squeeze your elbows, pull everything in slightly, push through the feet and exhale, come onto the top of the head. And then if it feels nice, you can walk your hands here back behind the head and breathe. So I've cupped my hands here back behind the head and I'm using the muscles in my arms to support me. It's not exactly a full wheel, it's a little different. And I find it very relaxing. See if you can be in some version of a back bend for a few more breaths. And then as you feel ready, bringing your hands back down, walking yourself out of that pose, bring your knees over your chest, and then the knees to the right, your gaze to the left. And then your knees to the left and your gaze to the right. Oh, this is very good timing. So from your twist, you can um, bring the knees back over the chest. Good. Lift the left foot to the floor, bring your right ankle to the left thigh, and then just lightly, lightly rock your hips side to side. Good. You can pause on one side and feel this as a deeper stretch. 
perhaps letting the knees kind of work a little closer to the floor. Let's try that in the opposite direction. Good. And you can kind of rock the tailbone just a little bit. And from here, go ahead, hug the knees in, take your hands behind your left shin bone, la espinilla aquí izquierda. Very nice. So now you'll exhale left ankle to the right thigh and then you'll rock the hips side to side. Good, you can pause in either direction. It's letting that release for a breath or two. Exhale, return, move through your center. Taking it to the left. Good, let's draw the knees over your torso. Take your hand around your espinilla derecha, your right shin. Again, letting your breaths move down deep and low. And from here, you can unfold the legs and put yourself in a comfortable position. Open your arms and legs all the way. And take a few full, big, deep breaths. When you're ready, just rock your thighs out and in. And wiggle the fingers, say hello to the toes. Hola, dedos de la mano, dedos del pie. Bring your feet in towards your body. You can kind of lift and shift the pelvis a few times side to side. And then we'll roll onto one side. Push up with your hands. Find a seated position. Almas juntas. Adelante del corazón. Good. Your practice is a gift. Tu practica es un regalo. Muchas gracias y disfruta el día. Enjoy your day. Namaste. Namaste.